What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today's little tutorial was inspired by the movie poster or the TV show poster for Dexter when he was wrapped in some plastic wrap, where we're going to create a graphic version of that poster in our own style. We're gonna be using some halftone, we're gonna be using some blending modes with the plastic wrap, and we'll be using an awesome gradient map color randomizer baked in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's dive on in. <laughs> what? All right, check it out. Here's the template I'm working with today. It's 20 inches wide, 13.5 inches high, and a resolution of 150. Go ahead and find yourself a cool photo to work with. I picked this one up at Envato.com, which happens to have some amazing stock photography to work with and other cool textures like this plastic wrap. If you do use them, try and use our affiliate link below as that helps us out. Also, I'll put the exact names of both of these assets in the description in case you want to follow along to the T. All right, first things first, I'm going to hit Command T and go ahead and increase the size of this guy's awesome face. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing, hit Command T on this plastic wrap and make sure it covers our whole canvas. Then I'm going to change the blending mode on that something to lighten or screen. I think I'll go with screen. And then I'm just gonna use the warp tool just to kind of get this part of the plastic a little bit over this eye so that we can see that eye a little better. I'm gonna hit Command T, right click, go to warp, and then just warp this up a little bit like that. There we go, and then hit enter. Now I'm gonna go back down to our photo of the guy and then we're going to go to adjustment layers and we're going to gradient map and here's where we can get really funky with the gradient maps and the graphic colors so you can either pick one the standard way or you can have a little fun by going to this little section right here switching from solid to noise and once you're here this allows us to use randomize which basically creates random combinations of color and you can basically hit it until you find something you wanna work with. Now, if it looks a little too crazy, you can increase or decrease the amount of roughness. Usually something below 45 works well. So I'm just gonna keep hitting randomize until I come up with something that I like. This color combo looks pretty awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, hit okay. And I'm going to actually make a copy as well by hitting Command J. And we're going to bring that on top of our plastic layer. And now we're going to create a clipping mask so that it attaches to that plastic layer. And we can add a little bit of that color to those strong highlights. I'm going to hit Option, Command G. And then I'm going to either see if a blending mode works or I might just reduce the opacity. Let's see. Let's go with linear light, and then let's see what happens when we drop the opacity. I'm just gonna keep it at 100 for now. From here, we can start working on creating some cool halftone effects. To do that, go to New Layer, then hit Shift, Option, Command E, and that basically takes a snapshot of all the below layers. Once you have that, go ahead and right click Convert to Smart Object. If you guys are digging this video, can you do a solid and hit that like button right now? I really appreciate it, thanks so much. Now, go up to Filter, Filter Gallery, and when you're in Filter Gallery, go ahead and make sure you're on Halftone Pattern. And then on Halftone Pattern, you can play around with the different size of the halftone that you would like to use. Today, I'm working with the dot halftone. I think I'm gonna put it at two and put the contrast at five. Now let's add one more effect and see if that helps us out. So go to this little plus button and let's see what happens if we add a little bit of grain. For now, I'm just gonna keep the intensity at 49 and the contrast at 63, then hit okay. Let's go ahead and adjust the blending mode. Drop this down to 
color burn, that looks great. And from here, let's go ahead and double click on that layer and see if we can get any cool effects with the underlying layer by holding your finger on the option key and sliding this slider to the left. And the same thing with the black arrow to the right. Oh, that looks great. All right, that gave us a really cool effect. I like how that brought that those blues from the mouth back in. Now from here we want to do one more adjustment layer. Let's go to hue saturation and then mess around with the hue until we get something even cooler. All right, I'm just going to drop it to the left a little bit and it kind of gives our skin colors a little more pink and red to make it somewhat realistic like that. Now I'm just gonna drop some type on top by going to new layer, hitting T on the keyboard. I'm just gonna type out grind. The name of the site is poster grind, but I usually use grind as one of the type elements on most of the designs like that. And then let's see what happens if we do another layer style and get this thing to blend in. So I'm gonna double click on that type layer, holding down option, dragging this arrow to the left and the black to the right so that it's really subtle and there you go guys here's an awesome graphic plastic wrap treatment for your next graphic design project thanks for watching